It's illegal in nine countries. Yep, it's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. It's called Sex Panther. Stings the nostrils. Today we're going to be talking about Ryan's Audi R8, his Panther Edition. When we first heard about this car coming in, none of us really had an idea what a Panther Edition was. So before we go deeper into this video, um, I wanted to pull up a few articles and we're going to kind of learn about what the Panther Edition is specifically and really what makes this car so special. There was only a total of 50 made in the world, 30 of which are here in North America. From everything I could find, it seems that this is the rarest spec Audi R8 in North America. I believe there's a Green Hell Edition, but I think that run is about 50. First thing you can see here by this picture here on Car and Driver's website is these kind of red accented wheels. Um, this is one of the staples of this car, um, but the big thing is also this paint job. It's kind of hard to tell in the photo. This car features an Audi exclusive Panther Black Crystal Effect paint. Depending on how the lighting is, the car just looks black, but when you get up close, there's a very deep metallic flaked purple in there carbon fiber trim everywhere and a red interior. So the interior is wrapped in what they call a crimson red leather. And this is apparently specific to this package. We have red stitching all around the car. This Panther edition is available only on the rear wheel drive model. So that means that this one that we are working on here at AMS is only rear wheel drive. If you're looking at drag race, you definitely want all wheel drive. You do not want a rear wheel drive one, but traction is gonna be extremely limited on this car. Um, obviously the car is gonna have a factory traction control system, but with this car, we are going to be going full standalone MoTeC. So we're gonna have our own motorsport traction control systems in place to be able to handle all this power because you know we're going from 530 to over 1200 horsepower. <laughs> just the two wheels. So this is naturally aspirated, obviously, for now. Even with the slightly lower horsepower numbers, I think it still hit a top speed of over 200 miles an hour, 201 to be exact. We're gonna go head over to the main shop. Tyler is currently disassembling the car right now, and we're going to get the turbos ready for install, and then we're gonna get this thing on the dyno. This is gonna be pretty exciting, so let's go ahead and get started on this build. another shaft that comes through here for the front uh, drive front shaft. yeah but uh don't have that because we were really driving this so that actually made this a whole lot easier yeah it yeah. would come through this hole here what and it would travel like? through the pan right there and it would come out this hole right here and that would be your forward shaft where you bolt up the actual and that would shaft. run all the way back also, to the diff that's not there yeah there's no diff here in the front so this is all oh that's crazy to you see could, you could hide so many things up in here you could probably put like a whole nitrous bottle in here <gasps> this thing is uh this thing's gonna be meant for burnouts dude he better get a, a pretty decent wheel and tire package because he's definitely he gonna he have don't some need traction it. problems <laughs> that motec traction control is gonna be working overtime on this thing
about it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Well, that's weird. That is weird. Feet exchangers are in. Water lines plumbed. Uh, if you guys haven't seen and you want to learn more about air to water in your coolers, I'm going to leave a link in the description. We recently sat down with Martin, the owner here at AMS, and we did a full scientific, technical, in-depth video on how air-to-air -air and air-to-water intercoolers both work. So if you're interested to learn more of that, check the link down below, and you can, it'll, just 15 minutes of just an information dump into your brain. Drop these last lines for turbos. Gotta route our last couple water lines and the oil return lines, and yeah, water return from our air coolers, and then we're pretty much ready to start it up. Awesome. Well, we will let him get finished up and we will cut to a first start. does it for this Alpha 12 Panther Edition R8. Really cool to see this car. I had no idea what a Panther Edition was until this car came in. Hopefully you guys learned a bit too. It's done. Oh yeah. It's done. It looks this so good. A fun one. Dude, this was. <laughs> you guys did a fantastic job. It Thanks. made, I can't remember the power off the top of my head. 1377. Oh, you remember. That's why he's the tuner, guys. No, photographic Thir memory. I'm literally picturing the autograph. <laughs> 1377 horsepower. That is insane. I uh, do have one question though. Sure. The rear wheel drive aspect of it, a little sketchy. <laughs> you know, when you have it on the loosest traction setting, it's a little, a little sketchy. But you know, you bring it down a couple notches, you almost don't even know it's spinning. It's just slower okay. because it's only two little drive. Yeah. But you know, boost by gear, torque by gear, set up, really tight traction control. I mean, it's really not any less safe than the all drive ones. <laughs> just takes a little bit. Like you're really not putting the power down to like fifth gear. 1300 horsepower is 1300 horsepower no yeah. matter which way you put it <laughs> all right guys that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video ryan enjoy your car thank you for choosing ams we'll see you guys in the next one